hours. So I spoke with Donna, my rep at Budsy, and I said, Donna, every every once in a while she'll just send me a surprise. So I said, just send me something. It doesn't matter what. Guys, oh, this is so pretty. Um, so she sent us, if you saw that picture earlier today, she sent us peonies. And they are the prettiest peony, peonies I've seen in such a long time. So, these are actually from Chile. And um, so, here in the United States, peonies have a very short um, season. They are usually in season um, April, May, June. July is getting late for them. But these are from Chile, and so, of course, now is their growing season. Now, for me, personally, I never guarantee peonies this time of year because you just never know if they're going to come here and be fantastic. Well, these happen to be. And so, I'm very excited. We're going to use these in one of our medium um, wooden dough bowls. And so, I'm so excited. I'm sure you'll be so excited, too. They're beautiful. I'm going to move the um, camera for Facebook because when I look at one camera, it's hard to look at both cameras at the same time. So, I am going to do my best because I feel like when you're seeing me and I'm looking at two different cameras, that makes it a little easier if I kind of have you in the same focal point. <laughs> so, I apologize. Okay, so Victoria is here with me. We are live on both YouTube and Facebook. Do me a great big favor on YouTube. If you would like this video, that would be fantastic. And on Facebook, if you'll let me know, you can hear me. So give me a thumbs up or a heart. I never know when we're doing this video if you can hear me well because we do have to use the mic on the camera for YouTube. So and talk to me, guys. Tell me how you're doing, where you're from, all the things. Tell me what you're thankful for. I love to know all those things. Um, and here comes the cat. He's got to come up here because y'all hadn't seen him in a while, and he thinks he needs to design. <laughs> so here is Mr. Osa. I know lots of people have been asking about him, so here's the stinky boy. Okay, now come over here and find him. Not, not right there. <laughs> not right there. Come over here. Move, move, move. Okay, there's your spot. Lay down. Not right there. Not right there, booty booty. There you go. All right. He did this to me earlier in uh, my video for YouTube. So he, he's going to be on tomorrow's video also. So he's here. He's doing good. He's happy. So, okay, so we're starting out with our medium dough bowl. We haven't had these very long, um, but they're wonderful. They're, they're a really nice size. They hold lots. Um, like it would be perfect for a table arrangement where you could put Christmas ornaments or pine cones, pretty mixed greenery, but they're really, really pretty. We have these available over on our Shopify website, so if anybody's interested in these, I want to say, are they $46.99 or $48.99? I think $48. $48.99 over on our Shopify, and we ship these out. We've actually sold three of these, um, and so we have five of these available, um, but they're really, really pretty. So, and thanks, guys, for all of you who have ordered um, some of our wooden dough bowls. We have several different varieties, um, but this one I thought would be beautiful with what I'm going to put together today. So let me show you how you'll line this. It is wood, it's actually made from Spanish oak, and it has been um, hand and sawed. Um, it's, they use their hand to kind of um, hew the wood, and they do have, um, they do use some tools to, um, to cut them, but it's just a really pretty, and it's not a perfect wooden bowl, and that's what I think I like the best about it, is you see all the, the the cuts and all the things it's kind of kind of pretty so I'm gonna take a little bit of foil paper I'm on YouTube Miss Rona Voss says hi girls money I received my medium dough bowl Saturday and I can't wait to see you design with yay Miss Rona yes now we are going to put fresh flowers in this but know that you can certainly use artificial flowers you can certainly use just about anything 
we are going to use fresh flowers today. Um, but I will do some more designs in this and some of our other things too um, to show you very easy ways to design with this bowl because it's really a great bowl. So I am going to take some foil paper. Now foil paper we use a lot here in the flower shop to wrap plants, to line things, um, but it really works to keep the water off of the bowl. So I'm going to take it and lay that right down in there and then I'm going to take um, just a fresh piece of floral foam. This foam has been soaked in water. Anytime you're using fresh foam, always soak it, okay? It's very important that you soak that foam in water before you use it. So what I'm doing is you can see I'm just kind of rolling up this foil paper, okay? I just don't want it to be seen. So I just took it and rolled it up, okay? Oh, I saw somebody over on Facebook gave us about a thousand little faces <laughs> up there. Okay, so let me show you how I'm going to um, make this stay in place. So I don't like to tape on these bowls, and it's because that tape will pull the color off of the bowl. So this is bind wire. Um, we just ordered this from the floral supply company. You can find this um, bind wire um, at the craft store. You can pick it up on Amazon. Really, really easy to work with. And it's just a coated wire. I like it coated because it's not going to cut into this wood. <clears throat> now, go ahead, Victoria. I'm sorry. Uh, no, you're good. Um, Joe Ellen on Facebook asks, how much are the dough bowls? This one is called our medium wooden bowl, I believe. This one is $48.99. Now we have one that's longer and more narrow. Is it $24.99, $25.99? I'll have to look. Um, but this one is, um, is $48.99, but it's really a very nice size bowl. I mean, I'm very pleased with its size. Okay, I'm gonna use a stick or a branch that I have, um, that came off a stem of flowers, and I'm laying it right on top of that foam. Now, what that's going to do is keep this bind wire from cutting into that foam. It's just going to, it's just gonna hold that bind wire in place, but not allow the wire to cut down into the foam. You know, the wire really will cut. Are you gone? Okay, we'll see you in a little bit. Um, Chris Fry says, I love peonies. I have about 200 peony roots coming in the mail next week. <laughs> we wanna see them when they start to bloom. Please share pictures. Okay, so I'm just taking this wire and I'm gonna show you really quickly. I'll turn it so you could see it. I just took that wire and I just tied it right on top. I just um, I just wrapped it right around that stem. Now it's not it's going to help keep that wire from cutting into that foam. And now it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, I'm not going to have it dump out or what have you um, in transport. Uh, Miss Lori Burns says I used my dough bowl to plant live succulents in it. <gasps> but it's beautiful. I love succulents. Now, I'm not always great with them, but I do love them. I think they're so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna start out with some greenery first. Um, and not only do I have peonies, y'all got to see this kale that Mary, my sweet friend Mary, brought to us. Um, so this is seeded eucalyptus, and I am going to take it, and I am going to break it into small pieces, and we're just going to fill in. So I'm just taking it and breaking it up into small pieces. And we're just going to just tuck it all the way around this bowl. Y'all, this seeded eucalyptus is amazing. So very pleased with the eucalyptus this week. We have had some fun things, fun things come in. Okay, this is a gun eye uke. Is it gun eye or parfolia? I think this is parfolia. I don't know, they're both so close. <laughs> it's hard to get it. I think this is parfolia. I think so too. Gun eye has the little rounder leaves, but it looks a lot like this. Um, 
Miss Lorraine says, we are very fortunate here in our state of Victoria in, oh, is OZ Australia for Australia? I believe so. Maybe. Um, but now don't give me the, I might be wrong. <laughs> she says, we have growers, growers here and have got magnificent locally grown coral, soft pink, and hot pink. The smell is amazing, but it's late spring here. Can't wait to see what you make today. Yes, and aren't they amazing? So, so pretty. Okay, so I tucked my uke. Quit acting like I'm bothering you, mister. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jerking his tail like I'm bothering him. Okay, so there I'm full of uke. Okay, I went outside and I picked up some horse apples. So these here in Mississippi are called horse apples. I don't know what else they're called. Y'all tell me. I'm sure that there are lots of different names. Um, but these are horse apples. Have you ever smelled them? Like they have like a perfume smell. They smell so pretty. But you don't really want to pierce them because they have a white sap. Just like um, a poinsettia has a sap, that sticky, sticky white sap. Well, horse apples do too. So I'm just going to take them and I am just going to nestle them right down in to this arrangement. Um, now, some of them are dark, have dark spots. It's because when they landed on the ground, they kind of put in a little rotty spot. It's okay. I'm going to turn that upside down. Nobody's going to know it but me. And so I'm just taking these and I am just nestling them right down in my dough bowl. Now, you can certainly use these without all these flowers, but look how pretty that lime green is. Like, it makes me happy. Like, it's such a pretty lime green. Okay, Mary brought, so if we're going to get more cold and so Mary owns a, um, a business and it's called Petal Row and Mary plants fresh flowers and sells her fresh flowers well she her um, she is no longer selling for the season so she has cut off her selling season and so I am blessed to be her friend and get the leftovers. And so I am thrilled with some of these beautiful, very large, very showy kale. So I thought we would use some of this pretty lime green kale. And we're gonna nestle, look at that. I mean, is that not the prettiest thing? Oh, Mary, I love them. And I'm gonna cut it a little shorter. Um, a few folks have said that where they live, they call them hedge apples. Hedge apples. Okay. We've never called them hedge apples here. Oh, Miss Lorraine says we call them custard apples in Australia. How cool is that? So that pickle is so pretty, y'all. Miss mm -hmm. um, Rhoda Voss asks, have you ever tasted them? Yuck. Nope. I've never tasted them. Mm -hmm. Never even thought to taste one. I don't know why that's not cutting. What's wrong with this? Because it's upside down, goober. Sorry, sometimes I have to call myself names. <laughs> you silly goose. <laughs> you silly goose. On YouTube, Melanie Gomez okay. says, Leanne from Floral Design Institute calls them, is it Osage Orange? Osage, Osage Orange. Orange, yes. She says um, she has impaled them with the Koei picks to get support in the arrangement. Okay, and I bet it got really sticky sap. Okay, so what I'm doing here, when I stuck him in, his bloom is really, really deep. And I wanted him to nestle down a little more into this arrangement. So I'm pulling off some of the, the leaves. So that he will nestle a little tighter down into that arrangement. Oh, I love him. But look how beautiful that kale is, y'all. It's amazing. Like, it makes me so happy. Miss mm -hmm. Rhea Norman says we don't have horse apples in the UK. Really? But aren't they beautiful? Isn't that lime green so pretty? Like, that's such a pretty color. So, so, so pretty. Oh, Cam, um, this... This may, you may need to help me with this. Okay. Um, he says, Victoria, I see where you can subscribe on Facebook. Can you explain that for me? I see that it's like a follow. I don't know what that all means. Yeah, we don't either, Cam. We're learning. Yeah. <laughs> but we will figure it out, and I will let you know. I'll send you a message. I'm not exactly sure what all yeah, of it I'm means. I'm not sure either. 
Oh, you're going to get down. Thanks, sir. Or was that just a stretch? Okay, so I added kale. So look how pretty. I mean, that's pretty as it, it looks is. Like a garden. It doesn't really need much more, does it? Okay, so next what we're going to do. Oh, he was just stretching. <laughs> he was just stretching. Let's come in with our peonies. So these peonies actually came from Budsy. I don't know if I said that earlier. I think I did. Mm -hmm. um, Donna at Budsy, she is my rep, and she is who um, who I always order all my flowers from. But if they're, oh, y'all, I mean, like, they're amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're amazing. So I'm going to take them and cut them at an angle, and I am just going to nestle those blooms right down amongst all that lime green. Um, the Lyrical Lily says, catching you live again. I need to get a lottery ticket. I'm Hello, so lucky. Hello, sweet friend. So glad you're here. So I'm just taking these peonies, and I'm just going to nestle them right into this arrangement. Oh, Miss Margaret Lynch also says, don't have those apples in Ireland. They are just awesome. Aren't they pretty? They really are pretty. I tell you, I read an article one time that said if you will take these horse apples so here in mississippi and i don't know about other places but here in mississippi we have very large um we call them wood roaches and when i say very large like they're large they're a big old bug it's a really big bug um they don't normally come in the house thank you heavenly father mm -hmm. um they are normally just they really like like mulch and they like to be outside but they're really large bugs if you will take horse apples and put them out on your porch or in your basement, it will keep those large wood roaches from coming up, which is very interesting. Um, Linda Jester says, loved your mailbox cover on YouTube. Thank you, friend. Thank you. They're loving seeing Osa. <laughs> you know, this rotten cat, mm -hmm. this rotten animal. He's so rotten. Um, Miss Shirley Seagrass says, oh, I'm glad you're working with this bowl. Hey to you both. Hello, hello. What are you doing, rotten boy, stretching? Miss um, Julie says, this is looking different, and I love different. Isn't it pretty, though, y'all? This does look very spring, but oh, wow, I just couldn't help but use them. They are just amazing. Um, Miss Eva Williamson says, hey girls, this is just beautiful. Are horse apples grown on trees? Yes, so they're grown on trees, um, and they're heavy. They're pretty heavy, so they fall. As they get, the larger they get, they fall to the ground. And so you usually just pick them up off the ground. Um, but yes, they grow on trees. And the tree usually has large thorns. Is my, um, is my eucalyptus bother in your ear? I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. Oh, they're saying it's looking beautiful. Isn't it pretty, y'all? Oh, it's so pretty. Um, Miss Pat Lawler says, I have never heard of them. You've never heard of horse apples? I didn't until I started working here. Really? Mm -hmm. You had never, heard, never of heard of them? Somebody's knocking on the door. Um, you had never heard of a horse apple. Mm -mm. Had you ever seen one? Mm -mm. Until you pulled them out. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> Maybe I've noticed them but didn't think anything. Maybe about you're them. not a country girl. No, I'm <laughs> No, she's not a country girl. All right, so I've got one more. We're gonna tuck one more. Uh, Miss Linda Juster asks, how long will that kale last? So the kale will last a long time. I mean, it's just an ornamental kale. It lasts a long time. As long as you keep, oh, you're stretching. Mm -hmm. As long as you keep it watered, everything in here will last a good while. Now, peonies are not terribly long lived, um, but they are amazing. <laughs> but they are not terribly long lived flowers. <laughs> Um, so you'll notice that they won't last um, nearly as long as other things, but they are um, they are amazing. Most of the time, you will find that I don't carry um, peonies in our store, and it's just strictly because um, number one, they're pricey, and they're just not as long lived as other things, and so we don't carry them very often. But when we do, we're so excited. 
like Victoria has has put a peony in every arrangement that she designed today. Every single one got a pink peony today. And so um, they are so, so lovely. But the kale is, um, the kale's pretty long lived and it comes in different varieties. So it doesn't just come in this pretty limey green. It does have one that has a purple um, kind of down in the, in the, I guess we call it leaves instead of petals. But it does have a really pretty purple. And then there's a lacy variety that almost looks like lace. It's gorgeous. Um, now, you can order from Budsy. You can order kale. Um, but Mary actually brought us um, this kale. And it's a larger variety and it's open so much better. But Mary cut hers directly from the garden and brought it to us. Whereas the kale that um, comes from Budsy has to be packed and so most of the time they will take those leaves and they'll kind of pull them up and lay them packed um, in a box so that they do not um, break um, but often you'll get kale and it comes in really tight so you'll have to reflex those petals or those leaves to get it to um, open up and be as pretty as these as this variety um, but oh it is so pretty honey are you helping <laughs> Uh, Miss Bernice Struhl says, Osa is checking it out, I think, just to make sure that Monty is doing the right thing. He's just so glad to be on this table up here looking at me. Miss mm -hmm. uh, Sudine says, love these colors together. Aren't they pretty? I know that this is very springy. <laughs> this is very springy, but y'all, I could not help myself. It was just far too pretty not to share. Joe Moreno says, hello, Monty, Victoria, and Osa. Hope you all are having a wonderful day watching from sunny San Diego. So glad you're here, friends. So thankful you're here. Osa, honey. Miss <laughs> uh, Carolina says, hello, Monty, Victoria. Like the arrangement. It's so pretty. Thank you, thank you. But see how, I mean, it's just a very um, compact arrangement. Now you could put some Bells of Ireland. I don't have any Bells of Ireland in, but you could easily put some Bells of Ireland in this. You can make it taller and showier if you wanted to, but I love when a dough bowl is, so, is shorter and compact. And y'all, that kale is so pretty. Mm -hmm. You can't almost, you almost can't see those, um, those horse apples or Osage oranges, but they are tucked down in there. They're really, are we going dark? Going dark. But if you look close, you can see, and I'll take a picture so that you can see them, um, that they are so pretty. Now I'm going to try to pierce one. Let's see if I pierce it. It is going to be sappy, but let's see if I can give it some more height and we can make them look longer in the arrangement. Okay, so I'm going to take, this is just a bamboo skewer, and I'm going to take it and press it right in, and I'm just pressing it into, they're pretty hard, they're pretty hard, and so I took and pushed it into where it's starting to have a dark spot, but if I push it, I'm going to have to cut it. Um, Ashley Banks on YouTube says, Hi, ladies and Osa. Love watching your videos, but first time catching a live. Yay! Yay! So glad you're here. Oh, yeah, that helped. So what I did was I just took, you could see it there, I just took um, just one of these bamboo skewers, and I pressed it right down into, down in there. And now it's going to give us a little bit of length. Um, Miss Ashley also says this arrangement is looking beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's going to hold them a little better. So when you put them on those skewers, it's going to give it a little bit. See how it sticks out more? You could see it a lot better. <laughs> Miss Elsie Powers says looks like Osa is as spoiled as my fur babies. Oh my gracious. He is the funniest creature. I don't know how in the world. I can get so blessed with rotten creatures. And that Todd has gotten to where he thinks he needs to go on delivery every time Jason leaves. And so he will be standing at the door waiting for Jason to take him with him. I don't know if you saw that post I made earlier with him back there with a plant. He's just riding. He is living his best life, delivering flowers. He's so funny. 
Miss oh, that's so much better, y'all. Mm -hmm. Adding those skewers to them really does make a difference, too. Miss Karen says, we have a hedge apple tree in our backyard. When the apples drop, it makes such a mess. It really does. And like they roll down the, they roll down a hill. So we're sitting up on a hill here at the flower shop. They'll roll down the hill and they'll get run over in the road. And they'll just be down there squished. Oh, you're going to stand up. Mm -hmm. That's so much better. Look at how when I put them on the um, picks, it just pulled them out. And it looks so much better. But y'all, that is so pretty. That is beautiful. And it is pretty all the way around. So I put... <laughs> I put it um, the flowers all the way around, so so it is so pretty. Oh, I'm so pleased! What a pretty arrangement. The lyrical Lily says, "Okay, so what would you charge for this?" Okay, so these peonies would run about. Um, they are gosh. Okay, so it's hard to mark them up as much as they need to be marked up. So they. I'm not going, I would not mark them completely as much as I should, strictly because they're already so expensive. These are a $15 each for these peonies. Um, kale, I did get these from, directly from a grower, but kale normally is a $3 a stem flower. And then our eucalyptus, um, I would say this eucalyptus is $4 a stem. So we are looking at, you got a calculator on your phone? I have nine peonies at fifteen dollars, and then I have three, six, nine, twelve dollars worth of um, kale, and then I have four and four is eight, twelve dollars worth of eucalyptus, and then the um, floral foam is a three dollar floral foam. Um, forty-eight for the dough bowl. Forty-eight ninety-nine for the dough bowl. So we're looking about $225, $230 for this arrangement if um, if we sold it as a whole um, with all of the stuff. I didn't charge for the <laughs> for the horse apples. Um, they, were, they were just harvested um, out of the yard. So, um, but we're looking at about $225 for um, an arrangement like this. But of course you get that fancy container too, which is mm -hmm. always nice. Um, and the container is certainly, um, Certainly something that you can use year after year after year with different things. Um, they're saying it's beautiful. Isn't it pretty? It is so pretty. Um, Joan, Joan High asks, is the cat on the payroll? Um, yeah, he gets paid in cat food, and um, he's rotten. He's <laughs> rotten. <laughs> like, I don't know. He might be my most rotten. I don't know. I've got some rotten creatures at my house. But he's pretty, he's pretty up there in you, Victoria. Mm -hmm. This morning he wouldn't come in. We couldn't get it, we couldn't find him. Um, and I called him and called him and called him. I was out taking pictures. It's been a beautiful day. So I was out taking pictures of flowers and I called him and he, I, couldn't, he, I couldn't find him. I walked in, he's in Victoria's arms. I'm like, oh, son. <laughs> Why are you being held, you rotten boy? I've been calling you all morning trying to find you. Um, but yeah, he's so rotten. <laughs> Um, the lyrical Lily said it's totally worth it. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? It is so pretty. Miss Marianne <laughs> Covert asks, will you be able to use the peonies in, in another arrangement? They are magnificent. Yes, ma'am. So we are taking them in um, a lot of the arrangements. We're doing just kind of smaller arrangements just because they're more expensive flowers. So if you use one or two in an arrangement, of course, that's going to be already pricey. Um, but... They are, um, we're using like a couple stems in smaller arrangements and that way we can, we can use them. Um, when they're pricey like this, it's just something that's a little hard for us to sell. Um, but we love it. We love the opportunity to be able to sell them. But yeah, they're a little, they're a pricey flower. Um, they're loving them. Um, Miss <laughs> Margaret you. says, I could imagine being a sun this being a centerpiece at a harvest festival it's just oh, awesome oh yes it is so pretty and this color this pink it's so pretty mm -hmm. it really is and i'm not even a pink girl and it's a gorgeous the and of course i tell you the part that's the prettiest to me look at that yellow center 
Look at those pretty yellow centers in those peonies. They're just amazing. And these are so hardy. You know, there have been times and seasons when we've gotten them in and they weren't nearly as hardy and as, as sturdy as these. These are very pretty. And lots of buds, but they're opening they're opening perfectly. I mean, like they're they're opening up with no problems. And sometimes you get peonies and they just don't open. So often when you get peonies in, they cut them in what they call a marshmallow state. And so it kind of feels like a little marshmallow. It's kind of, it's firm, but it kind of feels like a marshmallow. And so sometimes they come in like this and they'll just rot right there on the stem before they ever open. But these, I mean, these opened pretty quickly. Um, like we didn't have any issues with them opening. They're beautiful. Um, Miss Mary Ann says peonies this time of year are such a special treat. <laughs> yes, I agree. Yes, yes. Um, Linda Jester says, wow, those peonies are expensive. How much is a rose? Roses? <laughs> so here, um, I can get roses really, really reasonable. So I can sell a rose, depending on the variety, I can sell most roses for $3 a stem. So you see how much difference a rose versus a peony is. Um, very, very, very much difference. Um, Dawn Miller asks, do you have to worry about ants? No, ma'am. So they are, um, they will not let them ship if they have, ant, if they have um, bugs. And so, but these came from another country. And so they have to be, they have to check and, and do all of the checks and all the things to make sure that they don't come in with any kind of, any kind of creatures. So no, ma'am, no ants have never had any issues with bugs at all. Now you may have issues with me going and cutting things. So like if I cut, but um, Queen Anne slice or anything like that, then we're gonna, we might have issues with um, bugs, but we have never had any bug issues with any of our flowers that have been um, brought in by Budsy. And they won't let them. I mean, they'll even go through and fumigate boxes and they will not allow us to even have our boxes if they go in and fumigate, but they do a lot of checking to make sure. Yep, they're saying it's beautiful. I don't Guys, see any thank questions. you. Thank you all so very much. If anybody is interested in this wooden um, bowl, they are available over on our Shopify website. We do have these available and several other wooden pieces. Um, I was actually telling Victoria, I said, we've got to use some of these. Like we have a sugar mold that I think would be fantastic to use. Um, and we also have what we call, um, it's called a timber tray. And it has um, seven little components apartments in it. It's a really long tray and I thought we would do something for Christmas in that. But this um, wooden bowl, this is called our medium wooden bowl. It is fantastic for flower arrangements. It's beautiful for, I mean, just doing a tablescape. You could even put candles and all the things, but it's really, really lovely. I think you would be very pleased. Guys, thank y'all so much for being here. Do me a great big favor over on Facebook. Sprinkle this video for us, if you wouldn't mind. When you sprinkle our videos, it helps people to see us. Over on YouTube, do me a great big favor. If you would like this video, that would help other people see us. Check us out over on Facebook. If you have not checked us out on YouTube, do that for me. Um, go over there and subscribe to our channel. And you guys on YouTube, check us out on Facebook. We do live videos just like this every single day. So we'd love to have you there. Um, if there are any questions about how we do things here at this flower shop, you can always ask. We are so happy to answer questions for you. I had a sweet lady who follows us over on YouTube. She sent me an email. She was precious and was asking different questions. I am so happy to answer questions, guys. So if y'all have any, keep them coming. We're so happy to answer. Do, um, do me a favor on Facebook, and if you're watching this video after the live, you won't see that little live um red live sign up there in the corner you're going to see just it'll just be plain do me a favor and put hashtag replay tell me something you're thankful for i'd love to know that guys y'all have a great day we'll see y'all real soon